For 2023, my goal is to take this laundromat and double my income, to add revenue streams and make it better for my customers and a great experience. So follow along as I take you along on this journey and let's see what we can get done. All uh, right, what we have here is we've just spent $100,000 from the front to the back, and I've only got 12 washers. That's 100 grand. 12,000 for 60s, 5,000 for four, uh, 20 pounders, uh, 9,000 for 40 pounders. Dryers, we've already updated a few years ago. We went with 75 pound dryers, which we really love because people can't overload them. It's a, definitely a tip. Biggest dryers you can get, the biggest washers you can get, that's what they're gonna love. This laundromat still needs the floors done. We gotta finish the ceiling and add new folding tables. The other thing we're gonna do is this change machine should not be sitting out like this. Number one thing you never wanna do is leave one out like this. We're actually gonna make its own area over there where it's in the wall and protected, and we're gonna make our office and our camera system back there. The other fun thing that's coming to this laundromat is we are going to add an arcade to it. So in the building next door, we have an office space. We're gonna add arcade machines. We're even gonna talk about some other neat machines we might be getting that would generate even more income. And not just generate income, it's gonna give your customers that experience, kinda of like going to Disney. You know, you're not just a guest or a customer, you're a guest, you are there to be entertained and to be treated. So that's what we're trying to do with this laundromat is bring it as a whole experience for people and not just doing your laundry. By me doing a lot of the work, pretty much all the work, building the folding tables, build, doing the floor, doing a lot of the work, I'm able to save a lot of money. And what that does for my business is it creates a moat around my business. Just like a moat around a castle, I'm able to defend off my competition because I'm able to save money by doing this. Now look how much laundry this lady's gonna do. She's gonna need every big washer I have. This is why you have to have big machines. If I didn't have big machines, this lady would be packing this up and be heading out the door and that money would be going to my competition. So when you guys ask me, should I buy used or new? I'm starting to think we should buy new because you wanna have your stuff working as much as you can. Maybe when you first start out, you can't afford new, but you need to get yourself in that position so you can afford it. We got a bunch of washers back here, brand new. Yes, you will love those. Here, I'm gonna help her, I'm gonna drag this shit off. No, I'm not gonna drag your stuff on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dragging your stuff. I'm not dragging your stuff across the floor. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I feel bad. Yeah, just load them up. You can't overload them, so. Good Lord. This laundromat shouldn't look like this. <laughs> Everything here is a flaw, except the new machines. I'm not kidding. I mean, look at the floor. You can't have this. People are coming in, they're seeing this, and they don't like this. I, it's just bad. So everything's a flaw. Like, this shouldn't be here. This should be closed up and cleaned up. Garbage cans need to be in covers. I mean, all of these things are flaws. You might not think they're flaws, but as other people look at them through different eyes, they're flaws, and they will tend to drive away business. And the ceiling, not having your ceiling done is a flaw before peeling up not taking care of this stuff. Out of order washers, even one or two washers, if you're never gonna fix them, throw them away. Because if you have out of order machines, they are not going to wanna use your laundromat. So like I said, the change machine is actually gonna go into a bump out here. We're gonna do a metal wall uh, with metal covering and we're gonna do a change machine, a new soap machine, and even an ATM machine. So we have three points of, our three points of pay and our soap is all right here when they first walk in. You want them to have it right away. You don't want them going around like an Easter egg hunt looking for stuff. And right now, if you see, I've got a change machine here. I have a soap machine over there. It's just so disorganized. And then what's gonna be behind here, these machines, these dryers are gonna move to the back. Those washers are gonna be gone. And this is gonna be our office. So it's gonna be locked off, door. That'll be our office that we use for our laundromat, your security cameras, all your parts will be back there. This is the room on the other side of the laundromat I was talking about. In here is about 500 square feet. Sorry for the echo. But what the plan is, is this window has a, a header up above and we're gonna cut this wall out and we're gonna make this open through. And then in this area, we're gonna have different arcade machines and some other income producing items. Plus we'll have some chairs, we'll put our vending machines in here and we'll make it nice and homey so people feel comfortable and it gives them somewhere to hang out while they're waiting for their laundry. This one right here, yeah. what they do is, and this one's probably programmed, I didn't realize it, but what these do is like every so many cycles, there's a free vend, but you put a quarter in and all of a sudden it'll, yeah. We haven't advertised it yet, but you just got a free vend out of it. That's pretty cool. You I got get, it on film. Yeah. Hey, yeah, and you know, we're gonna try to make it so we generate. We make money, but we also wanna help everybody. 
So we're going to try to really change the outlook of this a lot. So with the free vends and that kind of stuff. Yeah, we just haven't got all the signage up in yet because it's going to be about, I'd say about two, three more weeks before we're done. Basically what happened is these machines have a feature on them called the Lucky Ven Cycle. And so we programmed it that every fifth or sixth time someone uses this machine, the next person gets a free Ven. And how it works is they go to put a quarter in, it'll automatically say paid, and they hit the start button. So it's kind of like, uh, like thanks for coming here, uh, customer appreciation, but our machine's doing it for us. The only thing we haven't done yet is made signage because that's the last thing we'll do in here to let people know what's going on. Just like she thought that it only took a quarter and she was concerned, nope, that's what this machine's gonna do. Cool. Instead of her spending you know, 650 per machine, she only had to spend like 13 bucks and she got three machines running. So she really saved quite a bit. All right, now we're at laundromat number two for goals for 2023. This one's got a lot. The whole facade needs to be changed, sidewalks. Let's take a look. Now you can see in here, there's some stuff already tore up. We're replacing our bulkheads. We're redoing our plumbing in that. We need to finish that because we need to take these 60 pounders and we need to move them along the side because we've got two big 80s coming in. That's one big project we got going. This full undermat also needs the floor redone. It already had painting done, but it needs touch-up done on the bathroom. The other thing in this laundromat that really needs to be done is the folding tables. These I hate. I know a lot of people like these. These are really bad. So we're going to go to butcher block tops. We're going to do an iron body to hold it up that I'm actually going to make. As for dryers, there's nothing. We, in 2018, we replaced the dryers. Everything there is good. We're contemplating getting rid of some of the top loaders and switching to more hard mounts. One of the big things, one of the big things is we're going to get new stickers for a change machine. This has been beat on so many times. It's been 12 years since we've really renovated this place, so that'll get changed up, cleaned up. I'm planning on uh, wrapping this because I don't like the way it looks anymore. It's been beat on so much over the years, just hard use. There are going to be more folding areas in here with those washers. So, so we got the ceiling tiles. We got to do that. We got to get the grids repainted. Would love to do exposed ceilings, but in this laundromat, it won't work because of how they built the building. But normally, I'd like to make the ceiling taller so it seems like the place is bigger. And then this one, right now, it just won't work with the way it's set up. But probably change out some of the lighting in that. But these are out of order. This is a simple out of order I'm going to fix later. That's actually a pretty simple one. So, but uh, we do. We have some stickers we need to replace because over time they start to peel. Your customers start to peel the buttons off for you, which is not fun. That's an expensive $130, $200 sticker there, overlay they call them. So we need to do those. A lot of it is it needs to be deep cleaned in here. All the machines, we need to go through them from top to bottom. That's a big goal for this year. Like I said, about every 10, 12 years, we, you literally have to. You don't have a choice because it gets a lot of hard use. When we got the building, it had these planners and these planters are okay, but around the corner, the planter was falling apart, so we took it out. And so we need to clean this up. What our plan is to put a sidewalk from the front to the back. We're also gonna run a sidewalk out here into the parking lot with some pipe bullards because we're tired of people parking in the front of our building so you can't get in. So, and at the same time, we have to take the awnings off and make it more like the back of the building. We're gonna clean all that up. There's a project we started it during the pandemic and then when everything went to kind of hell, we kind of stopped for a moment. So now we're gonna clean all that up and get it done. One idea, one thing that just like the other laundromat, we, we're going to make a cubby or a room for our arcades and some of the machines that we're looking at getting in to help add revenue to this place. So that'll be through over here where this pop machine is. We'll actually blow that wall out and take it into the back of ways. The goal for this laundromat is to get it clean better. The other goal for this laundromat is marketing. This laundromat, I just opened it up and I never ever did any marketing. It's because I'm not very good at marketing. Marketing is one of my big downfalls. So my goal for this one this year is to get better at marketing my laundromat to people in the neighborhood. The other thing we need to do with this laundromat is obviously you can see the lighting which we have ordered. That's because of the dryer fire we had. It took out a lot of our lights so that's a big goal. Better lighting. Um, equipment wise not this year but next year I actually want to get new dryers for here. Dryers are the best thing to buy because they're cheap and you're the last experience your customer has. So if you want your customer to or your, your guest to have a great experience, have them end on a high note with a really good dryer. So that's a big that's a big thing in another year. But this year's marketing, cleaning, getting this brighter in here, making this a little friendlier environment for people is really our big goals. 
Yeah, see this laundromat, the best thing that happened to this laundromat was I built it from the ground up. I literally gutted this entire building. This was an office building and it was a convenience store before that. And so I gutted it, put all new electrical, all new plumbing, everything's new except the machines. And so that's what my other laundromats lacked. Neither one of those I bought, I gutted. My second laundromat that we were just at, the one that needs the awning and needs the sidewalks and everything, that one I put up with a lot of it because I was so afraid as a new owner to close it and have my customers disappear and maybe they wouldn't come back. So I tried to only have it closed for like 30 days. That was a huge mistake. I would never do that again. That was a huge mistake. What I would have done is said, hey look, post it outside, I'm closing. We're gonna completely remodel. Trust me, you're gonna like it because that one needed to be gutted. Ceiling, flooring, all the machines, get rid of the dryers. That was a big learning lesson for me. And I advise anybody else doing it. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do it right, shut it down for a month or two and completely renovate it. Do not half-ass it because you will cost yourself in the long run. So in conclusion, for my 2023 goals, I really wanna get all my laundromats making the same revenue across the board. I wanna add revenue at a couple of them that I know I'm lacking in. So I'm basically doubling it at them, but I want them all to be consistent. There's no reason they couldn't be. They all have the potential. Well, now you've seen where I've started and where I'm at now. Now follow along the following Keenan as we continue this journey on together and don't be a stranger.